It was a cold night last night here in Virginia. Got down to the mid 20s. Water froze in the hose. I can't wait for the spring. <laughs> oh wait, it's already the spring. That's okay. But we're actually gonna go do some more exploring today. We are gonna go to an antebellum mansion from what we've heard. So we'll take you along. We being me and Steve. Yay. Penny, Penny and Patty are gonna stay in the warm air stream. Yay. Patty's watching you. I can. <laughs> okay, let's go. Can't wait for the spring. <laughs> Well, you, you didn't see much of that because we weren't allowed to film inside. No, but it was still really interesting and all of the different furniture and You're the... just going to have to take our word for I it. I know. <laughs> if you're in this area, we recommend coming. It was very cool to see something from built in the late 1700s, early 1800s. That's right. Just on a warmer day. Yes, it's very chilly. We're oh my gosh. Out. I think we're going to go see some of Winchester, maybe. Right. We'll show you if we We'll can. see. Hopefully it's warmer in Winchester. I don't think it but, will be. But it won't be. I know it won't be. Seeing a little bit of Old Town Winchester. 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 Used by George Washington. That was a cannon used by George Washington. change out the composting toilet. We've already dumped the solids into a bag. Um, and this is one of the tricks we always talk about, which is I put the cut up pieces of coconut core, which I can show you, into Ziplocs when I do this um, every time. And then I put a little bit of water in the bottom, so I'll show you doing that. And this is what it ends up being like the next time I have to go and change out the composting toilet, it just crumbles which is so much easier than trying to hydrate it like right now. That took me a long, long time. This just like is super perfectly hydrated and I just dump it in. Nice and easy. So it took about a bag and almost two bags. I usually keep three going in the back of the truck no matter what. Just do a quick little cleanup of the seal that it seals nicely. And ready to put back inside. And then I need to prep for next time. So why don't you put that back inside and then I will show them how we prep. So all I do is take a Ziploc bag, put about that much water in it, no exact measurement. And then take one of these chunks that Steve took off the coconut core for me. Put it into the bag. This one's a bit big. There we go. And seal it up. I'll shake the water around a little bit. So it coats a few places. And then that goes into our bin in the truck until six weeks from now when I empty out the toilet again and it will be just like you saw, like this one is. Nice and hydrated. So much easier. 
And I usually keep it about three just in case. One thing we have noticed um, is being out in humid climates now, we are having to empty it a little bit quicker than we did in the West. Um, so that is something to consider if you're mostly gonna be in humid climates, you might have to empty the toilet every four to five weeks instead of every six to eight or something like that. So, so that's it, that's one chore done. Another thing we did since we're here stationary and we don't have an address, we used my brother's address. We had like things shipped. I'm trying a new microphone on top of the camera. A couple things outside. I'll show you what we got. Come on. Let's walk over here. It's new tire pressure monitor batteries in here. These are very specific, like 2032 batteries or something. 1632. 1632, 1632 batteries. Kind of hard to find. We had to order them on, on Amazon and have them shipped. Now all of our TPMS sensors work and a couple things for our water. Originally we were, well, for a while we were not using a regulator. Now we are because it happened to break. Um, actually, no, that I accidentally threw out. I accidentally threw that out but our water filter was leaking, so we got another one of those. And the most expensive item, the most expensive item is down here. This is our Progressive Industries Surge Protector. I think when we were in Tucson, the old one literally melted in the connection area where you actually plug it in. So it was not working properly. So we had to order another one. It's a couple hundred bucks, but when you have thousands of dollars of electrical equipment inside your rig, something like this is a really nice to have fail safe. And everything that I showed you is on our, or in our Amazon store. So if you don't know what we're talking about, it'll be there so you can take a look. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Is a pro tip. We picked up some of these, or a couple of these space heaters. The other one is quite a bit smaller than this. This is for when you're primarily plugged in and don't want to use your furnace, and it's so cold that your heat pump won't pump that beautiful warm air. Or if you don't have a heat pump, which or some if of you the, don't have a heat some pump, of the newer and you're RVs to use only have a furnace. So since we're plugged in and we're not paying for electric, it makes the most sense to use purely electric heat because we're not paying for it. So we went and got some uh, little electric heaters for now. Yes, and since it's April, these were on clearance, literally clearance at Walmart. So picked it up for super cheap. This actually does a very nice job when it stays on. Uh, the thermostat could be a little bit finicky, um, but when it's running, it keeps the Airstream warm and we're not using propane in the furnace, which saves us money there, exactly. which is always a good thing, exactly. which is always a good thing. So now we have that for when we're plugged into electric and we have our catalytic heater when we are boondocking because the furnace uses a lot more propane and uses battery power. So in general, the furnace is our last resort when it comes to heating because it uses the most of our, our resources. But. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is our last full day in the Stevens Winchester. City, Winchester area. The thing that's really unique about this area is there's so much history, the Revolutionary War, all the all that all of that history, Civil War too, happened right here. So, like in Winchester, you saw the cannon that George Washington, the, uh, you barely saw that used, <laughs> but yeah, you you see a lot of that a lot of that here with plantations and and old homes and things like that. So it's really interesting to see all that in this particular area. It is. But we're moving on to Baltimore in a couple days. And then further north to Niagara Falls. So eventually. that'll be, yeah, eventually. Not, not directly. Eventually, yeah. You won't see Niagara Falls for a little while yet. Quite a bit. <laughs> but that's where, we're, that's where we're eventually going. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so uh, it was a nice, nice trip. This is, this is such a hodgepodge video. That happens a lot. Ugh. So this is because we spent this week with Steve's family. When we're with family, we put family first. And so we only film when we're doing something exciting. We put family first. When we're just hanging out with family or hanging out in the airstream, we don't film. So that's why you get hodgepodge videos like this, but back to regularly scheduled stuff when we leave YouTube tomorrow. programming. 
um, and some exploring in Baltimore and but we leave on some Friday. new state parks. Oh, yeah. Isn't this Wednesday? It is. In a couple days. So we leave in a couple days. You'll get to see new state parks and Baltimore and stuff like that. That's right. So. Uh, excuse, excuse the hodgepodge. Excuse it. Are, are, are you excusing it? Okay, good. <laughs>